All right, guys. So here we have the next big build for the FP department. Um, Joey and Bubba and me are going to be all working together on this build for Bailey Zimmerman. Yes, you heard that right. Bailey Zimmerman, the country singer. Drop picture here. Um, but yeah, so this is Bailey's personal truck that we're going to be building for him. This is a really like sentimental truck for him. He said this is his favorite body style. He loves Duramaxes. Um, so we're going to be making her just a little bit faster. And we're going to be making her a lot prettier. We got some really, really big plans for this. And I, I believe we also have a special guest that might uh, join in on this video. So Bailey's supposed to be coming by one day this week. Um, well, the video will have already dropped. I can't let you know what day he's coming, though. Um, very, very important man. Very busy man. So we got some big plans for this Duramax. We're going to go over the build with y'all. Hopefully, uh, well, actually, we're about to roll into cinematics of Bubba and Joey tearing this thing down. So enjoy the video. Stick around. We got a special guest coming. So we have Bailey Zimmerman's truck, guys. Got it pulled in the shop. It's a 2015 Chevy High Country um, Duramax. You know, eh, eh, Bubba, eh. They're not gonna be able to hear that, but they know what you did. Um, so they're about to break down the bumpers for paint match. Uh, we have decided to go with like a like a red and a silver theme on the whole truck. So we're gonna be getting rid of all the chrome. Um, we're gonna be painting it silver. Um, so. We're going to be getting rid of all the black plastic and stuff, obviously, too. And always, guys, on any build that you think you're going to put wide wheels on, don't forget to trim your bumper and your valence before they're painted. Or you're going to turn right into that fresh paint, or you're going to have to cut it. So just remember that. But, yeah, so we have a 7 to 9-inch show-off kit. We had it on the ground earlier, or you've already seen the cinematics of it on the ground. we got it all loaded in the truck now up in Joey's rig. Got the rear axle already broke down, leaf springs, so we gotta push the bushings out of them at powder. Um, the whole lift, knuckles, to hitch, 
all the brackets, torsion keys, everything under the truck is getting powdered. We got a TSO tip for it. Um, and I think we have some TSO frame overlays coming in. But yeah, this is a pretty nice lift kit in the, in the Chevrolet world. We don't really do too many Chevys anymore, but we used to do a lot of them back when it was just me and Bubba. But really excited to do this for Bailey. This is actually his favorite year of truck, he says. Um, so excited to surprise him with this. You know, he's kind of gave us a little bit of input on what he wants, but overall, he's really not going to know what the truck looks like until it's finished. You know, he might be coming by to check on it before then, but, um, yeah, so he's going to be kind of left in the dark on this one, but I'm excited for him to see it done and to see what we can do for him and, uh, maybe build him some more trucks in the future. So we'll see. We've done got everything broke down for powder. Bubba's about to trim the bumper. Got to figure out what we're doing with the front differential. We got some PPE diff covers coming in. A lot of really cool companies on this thing. I think uh, Whirly Fab is going to get us some piping and stuff. We got to figure out what turbo kit we're doing. Um, I think we're going to do a drop-in charger on the truck. Um, that's just the, the best idea all around. So you can keep that whistle that everybody loves about the Duramax, but you can also gain a little bit of power and performance and sound, but you could still pull a trailer if you needed to. So that's kind of the where we're going to hit with that one. And then we got some wheels for it. Uh, we want to, hey Joey, let's let's pull one of these wheels off the pallet and open it up and show them to him. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so we got some 26 by 16 KG1 forged that we were gonna have brushed, but then we decided to do this silver theme. So we're actually gonna be doing the re the wheels in silver. Let's see what they are. Have y'all even looked on the box? No. Here, here, come on. You, you can come over here. Oh, okay. Those are pretty. They're Aristos, I believe. Those are sweet. Yeah. That's one of the like, classic designs. That's pretty clean. It'd be really clean on that truck. So we're going to powder the wheels silver with a silver and red accented center cap. Um, so, yeah. We're going to get to work. Joey's going to take everything to powder. Um, I'm going to take the wheels to powder probably tomorrow. Chad's going to have his hands full because we actually have to have this truck done before FP Truck Fest. Um, I would never drop a deadline on Bubba and Joey. I just wouldn't do that to them, you know. Okay. We're always so far ahead for our show every year. Yeah, Who, in your exact words last year. Hold, hold on, hold on. In your, in your exact words last year, hey man, we're not gonna do this to ourselves because last, the last show, we I had a truck that didn't have an engine in it and he's like, we'll not do this on the next one. No, that Tuesday before the show, I keep forgetting, the Tuesday before the show, we had already got the engine in. The truck left on Wednesday, the show started on Thursday. Yeah, the truck yeah. was here when people were showing up. Well, the Friday before, the truck didn't even have an engine in it, I don't no. believe. And then by Wednesday, it was running and ready for pickup and test drove. So, yeah. we killed it, though. That's, that's pretty much what you was saying. That's the word you was looking for, is we killed it. Yeah, okay. But, uh, well, let me mic back up, boys. Or what's Joey say? What's the little, what's the little Yankee over there say? What's up, chat? Hey, what's up, chat? What's up, chat? He thinks we're streamers now. Um, yeah. Anyway, Smoky Mountain was great, guys. Uh, Bubba, we gotta get you to go next year. I'll think about it. He's gonna think about it. I know you didn't really hear that because the mic's on me. I keep forgetting that. But uh, yeah, we had a great time. I think we uh, we killed our uh, our records everywhere. So appreciate everybody for coming by the booth and checking out the merch trailer, seeing everything. But we're gonna get to work on Bailey's truck. Um, we'll have. Quite a bit wrapped on it this week. Um, Got to figure out, like I said, the front differential, some more powder stuff. We're gonna take a bunch to Chad, but yeah, we're gonna get to work.
have to add a little, little more to it. I reckon. <laughs> Don't say that. I reckon. <laughs> God, dude, it's gonna it's gonna kill me right here. Let's get lit up. <laughs> hey, Bubba, you got your safety glasses on? Yeah. 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 Born with them. They're factory. Oh, so you didn't see that. That's hot. Ooh, ooh. Deburring action? I think she'll be uh, at least 50% turn. You know? Not bad. You're maxed up, bro. Yeah. I mean, if you got a Duramax and you put 16 lines on it and you think you're getting full turn, you're lying to yourself. If you get half turn, you're doing good. Honestly, considering it was quarter turn on the way into here with bubbles, not like it didn't have four bubbles on it, but like the other type of bubbles. He's not that cool. No. There is no four bubbles, there's only one. It's a unicycle. <laughs> the baddest. A few inches later. All right, guys. So Bailey's truck is completely tore down. Um, we got the new lowers in, new CV axles. Uh, PPE sent us uh, a rear diff cover. We're gonna powder this silver and do the fins red. Um, and then the front diff cover, we're probably either gonna do it just completely red or the silver and red theme, just like that. Um, but yeah, everything's off to paint, bumpers and everything. We got a trans pan, so we'll go ahead and do a service on the trans while it's here. Put some fresh fluid in it, change out the filter. Um, got some wheel seals, fresh parking brake shoes, new wheel bearings for the front. You're gonna get, be getting a completely fresh truck. So, got everything stripped down. Um, axles are at powder. Two, three designs is working on the lights. Um, he's gonna be doing the headlights, tail lights, um, third brake light. Uh, and then the mirrors were already built on the truck. Just the caps were chrome, so we, we took them apart, had those painted red. And then we actually ended up taking the badging off of the doors. Um, we got a wet sand and buff and get, get all the, the lines off from where the, the badges were there. Um, and then the tailgate, there was a little blemish at the top of it, so the tailgate's gonna get painted, reblended, um, and then we have some, some high country logos for the tailgate. So truck's turning out great so far. We're on schedule pretty much, hopefully, uh, Chad gets our powder done pretty quick because that's gonna be our biggest issue is getting everything back together. Um, the tear down part is fairly easy. The reassembly part takes quite a bit longer. Um, but if you come to the front over here, we'll show the people what they wanna see. So the, the paint was perfect on the back bumper. Don't mind the rocks. Actually, he's got bolts set in there. I'm gonna leave that alone. My bad, man. My bad. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> the rear bumper. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh right now. Um, yeah, all the rear bumper got it broke down. Got the fog light bezels ready to be painted. Um, we're going for like a red and silver theme on the truck. I think it's going to look really good. We're going to paint all the plastics. And it's going to be a super clean truck. Uh, we're going to debadge the, the Duramax badge on the hood. That, that needs to be gone. Um, like I said, we got the mirrors taken apart. And we took the caps off of them because... These had been freshly built and they already had white um, LEDs in the turn signal area. But we got Joey out here with our new surface cleaner we just bought. Going at it. Well, he was going at it. What's wrong, Joey? It stopped working. All right, Bubba's going to diagnose. <laughs> this thing's just a piece of crap now, man. Uh, he's got okay, okay. Well, anyways, we, got, we bought that big old surface cleaner over there, that big round thing sitting on the ground. Um, and yeah, we have done the whole front of this shop. Gotta show him, gotta show him. 
in like an hour versus the you know three days to three to five days of pressure washing it used to take to get this place ready for the show so glad we bought that that was worth every dime you can see a you can see a stripe you just did right there on how easy it is you just push the thing around i'm new to this stuff um i can tell i'm getting old too because property cleanup is starting to be something i enjoy so we're gonna have to do some race car stuff or something i'm getting too old but blue truck um big news coming for this thing after the show guys after the show this thing will be going with cody fisher um and he's gonna start doing all the fab work on it uh we don't currently have the ability to do in-house fab work yet but at the end of the year and this is kind of a job resume right here at the end of the year i want a full-time fabricator so if you know anybody that's very talented that would like to join the team we got me we got bubba we got ryan we got joey got my mom handling all the merch um yeah so if you know anybody that would want to join the team at the end of the year that is a talented stainless aluminum and titanium fabricator let me know let me know probably not right now you know if you threw a resume to my email i wouldn't be mad but um yeah we need to get to where we can do everything in house i don't want a truck when we're building it i don't want it to leave the property so i think that would be pretty cool but we also have some new parts in for the blue truck let's go show them the goodies ryan the goodies Boys over at Firepunk got us hooked up for with the first TBM brake kit to go on a 4th gen. So this should be the first kit for a 4th gen. Man, these things are nice. So these are like their street series rotors and stuff, I believe. Like street slash strip. Check out the 12 point hardware and stuff. It's crazy nice. Um, and then the billet adapter brackets for the calipers. But yeah, it comes with hubs and everything. So, yeah, got to get that on the blue truck. But just wanted to give you all an update on what was going in the, on in the shop and what was going on with Bailey's truck. Um, that thing's coming along really, really good. But uh, time is uh, not something we have a lot of. Throw a, throw a timer on the screen, Ryan, since you're editing this now. Um, let them know how long we have till FP Truck Fest when they're going to see this video. So, all right, we'll keep you all updated. Up, Bubba, bro. Does that get you freak on? All right. <laughs> Missy Joey's Elliot. not in here right now. We can't get our freak on. Joey's out there so, doing whatever. This is. This is our rod run find, uh, thanks to Joel Hill. I think he is the only dealer for these in the United States. Joey, you're a nanny. You're interrupting our movie set with your hat and your boots. Joe's boots. Get out of here, you look homeless. <laughs> he does look a little, <laughs> slightly homeless right now. Any level of people, man. Any level of people. Um, so we got these beadlock 10 by 14 golf cart wheels. I don't know who or what manufacturer like just like looked at a golf cart one day and was like, we need to make these, but I'm not mad about it because no. we also got some bear claws. Not the bear <laughs> claw you're thinking of, it's not a donut. Bub, get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at that them. wasn't a fat joke, man. Look I, at them honky tonks there. Look at these honky tonk bear claws. And I've never ordered full wheeler tires, so I did not know they shipped them like that. But yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. It, it why ought to ride good, right? <laughs> it looks like it's going to ride good. The road force is going to show that it's just man. riding great. <laughs> Which we don't have road force, so it's, it's, it's just destined. But uh, yeah, these are actually true beadlocks. So we're about to try and mount one of these bad boys and see how much stance we can give the golf cart because i'm pretty sure the factory wheels are probably like what six wads do we know that these are going to fit over the calipers though no we don't know anything actually if you want me to be honest yeah i done checked it but it's not it's not no. i'm gonna have to have spacers yeah Fuck. spacers on a 14 <laughs> wide yeah bleep wow i'm almost Look positive these so these are pretty they're nice, nice. If shout there's out a to my boy joel he if there's a way we're these. about to make them fit Oh, I mean, they're going on there, um, regardless of if it's a good idea or not. Like, dude, just FedEx, why? Who should, who should, yeah, FedEx knew it. Yeah. Knew it. I know they didn't do it, but is this a common thing with full wheeler tires? Somebody let me know, because I don't feel like they should be this lumpy. Look brand new, man. All right, we're good now. It looks like a freaking track on a skid steer. I like it. <laughs> I'm excited All right, to see. let's do it. I, I know the backs will clear, probably, maybe. Probably not. So the factory wheels are 12. Don't want to scratch the dishes. Yeah. Try 
Try not to break a, break a sweat over here. Yeah. People ain't seen me work on stuff in three years, bro. Now that we have a Joey. Remember that theory we had? Mm -hmm. I work on more stuff when we hire more people. Mm -hmm. It's it's proven. Okay, so what are we doing? We're gonna lube it first. <laughs> you gonna lube this? Bear claw. Bear claw. I just I just read it every time, and I really want to say it, and I have to say it. In this episode of Bear Claw, <laughs> we see if we can mount this tire. I wonder how much psi these hold. Like four. Seventy-five. I don't Seventy-five. Know. Oh god, that would be a bomb. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter. That's later problem. One, yeah. <laughs> Is that the tire? Or are you? The tire. Okay. I feel like I'm in the way. God, dude, that. What's our thoughts? What's she need? It's going. It was. Oh, baby. <laughs> there we go. Ah. I was trying not to lose fingers. You. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Dude, that's a big tire. <laughs> You're a big tire. Look. Okay, it's, it's not gonna be too bad. Yeah, I thought he was gonna have like a massive gap there. Now Bubba, me and you and the word massive gap. That's yeah. Just... <laughs> well, when we done the Razor tires, they had a freaking, they had a big These gap. These are supposed to air right up. According to uh, the Phil Billy Dictionary. All right. Pressure on today? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't turn it on. Let's see what we got here. Grab your hair, ho. Maybe your finest air tool from Timo. See that? Astro. It means expensive because it's out of this world. Bubba, your torque wrench looks different every time I see it. I gave up on it. <laughs> I do believe these are going to air right up. All right, all right, you ready? Moment of truth. Still has a valve stem core in it. There we go. Whoa, that was look cool. That's already seven pounds. Oh, it's not possible. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we went. <laughs> Dude, I can't even see it. But yeah, it's, it's down in there, kind of, ain't it? Here it goes. I'm scared. It's going. I just want to look at it. All right, y'all tell me if it looks cool. Oh, I'm really scared. That's 30 pounds. You can go on 30. <laughs> That's scary, bro. No bueno, buddy. I mean, would we consider that seated? No. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's your golf cart. Grenade. It's mo it moved a little bit. Did it? Yeah. I mean, I consider that seated. What about you? I mean, I've done some 14 wides that was worse than that. I think once it goes on the golf cart. All right, now let's do some research on how much air these are actually supposed to have in them. 36 PSI max. What are you thinking, 30 or are you going to max it? I'm going to run them to like 12. Oh, I am going to run it to 36 to see if it'll feed. To 31. 36. Yeah, brother, that's good. All right, so in the like Razor, a... we run like 7 PSI. What should we run in these? 
What do you so, run? Like normal four wheeler tires. I run like 13 in mine. My, my little four wheeler. That's good down to like 12 or 13 then. It's called a bike, but it's whatever. A bike. <laughs> a quad. Actually. That was a stab at Chad. Yeah, Chad, you don't know about bikes and quads. He's professional though. He can he can call I mean, it every once to. He wins. Yeah, he's a he gets the W. He big boy. Alright, you wanna grab us another wheel and Yeah. This is gonna be a lot faster of a process than what I expected. Alright, well we just wanted to share with y'all our experience of mounting um these. We'll uh come back here in a minute when we got all four mounted. Tried to put the big meat Larry Hoover's on. Here, you want you want to take that back out of the way? We're gonna show. Them. We'll uh we'll show you how far she goes on, or it doesn't go on. Yeah, it no it no work. It no work. So we're gonna have to have some spacers on this unit. I don't even know what bolt pattern it is, but yeah, two inch spacers on a golf cart seems pretty safe to me. Honestly, I would feel a lot safer with spacers on it. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. That's my I mean, dang it's sure. not gonna get any worse. I mean, I know they're not gonna break my Kaiser forged wheels. Yeah, yeah I'm acting like we're sponsored. I paid for these before anybody says, "Oh, those, those wheels were free." Nope, I paid for. Them. I heard they were free. Heard they were free. <laughs> nope. All right. Well, let's put that back on, bub. And uh, yeah, our uh, golf cart adventure kind of got cut short, but these are pretty gangster. So uh, we'll be back with some spacers in the next video. All right, guys, uh, appreciate y'all. Bailey couldn't make it to this video. He's out. I'm sure he's out chasing blondes somewhere doing, uh, doing Bailey things. He's a very, very busy man, but I'm sure we'll get him in one of the videos or for the reveal video of his truck. And a uh, big thank you to him for letting us build the truck. Uh, I've known him for a while. Never got to build a truck for him, but, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. So let me talk to you about what's behind us and where I'm at right now. This is actually the fairgrounds in Jamestown. This is their trailer parking lot. So they're actually gonna let us use it for the show. This is 10 times the size of the trailer parking that we had last year so that everyone's not parking on top of each other and blocking each other in. Um, we're gonna drop the address and all the info on the screen and release the trailer info flyer. So if you're wondering, Blake, will I have room to bring my big trailer, my semi, my this? Semis cannot be at the show. Pit bikes cannot be at the show. Dirt bikes cannot be at the show. Four wheelers cannot be at the show. Side by sides cannot be at the show. Um, the only thing we're allowing on property is golf carts. So just a, just a warning. And if you act like a fool on your golf cart, I will kick you out. Um, but yeah, so this is your trailer parking lot. If you bring a semi, I'm sorry. We do not have enough room for it, frankly. But you do have room to park here if that is your rig of choice. This is probably about two miles from the show, but this is the biggest lot and the city of Jamestown was kind enough to let us use it. So huge thank you to the city for that. They really supported us in this event and its growth. Also, a quick merch plug. Uh, we are gonna sell a couple of these on the website. This is the FP Truck Fest shirt. Um, we are only going to be selling a certain amount. I announced it on my Instagram a couple days ago. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram. My Snapchat is also hblakefits. And you can get to the uh, info about stuff like this before it makes it to the YouTube channel because the YouTube channel is usually a couple days behind. But this is the event shirt. We are going to be pre-selling a couple of these on the website. Ryan is modeling all pretty for us. Um, yeah, get you, get you some shirts. Get you some merch. See you all there.
appreciate y'all for watching the video. Subscribe, like, comment, and we're going to have more news for FP Truck Fest coming. Um, also, media registration is in the link below. Um, maybe throw it on the screen and put it in the comments. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment. See y'all in the next one.